Does he know? Does he know Gay Hunter? It's hot as hell. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. I got the gloves on. Thank you to our sponsors who made this video possible. Please click the links in the description below. The stack has cooled down, so I cut off a little bit for you to, to have a look closer. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna cut up that stack into pieces, we're gonna restack it and forge it out again. So before we do uh, the cutting and restacking it, we're gonna take it on the grinder and just remove the scale from the side. I usually use old belts for that that are already messed up a bit because that scale is quite hard. So it will mess up your fresh belt straight away. All right, so we've done our first step. We got our uh, stack forged out. So now, like we showed earlier, we're gonna restack it. So we got five pieces with our distorted pattern. And that will be forged down again into one. That will distort the layers even more. And that will get cut up again and restack it into another five. Now I have completely lost the count of amount of layers, but hey, it doesn't matter. <laughs> All right, now let's get it hot. Hard part, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mesh, mesh it twice, cut once. Yeah. And now that we restacked it, forge welded together, this is what the pattern looks right now. So it's pretty sweet. Now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna forge it out flat again. And we're gonna restack it one more time, just to make sure that this pattern is even more distorted. The same thing might happen that I was talking about earlier. As we start forging it out to the length, those lines might essentially go straight again. So it's not gonna look as, as fun as it looks right now. So we're gonna essentially restack it three times before we actually get to the point that we're gonna start forging our blade. After we've done all the restacking, what I'm gonna do is something called framing because the stack has a bit of a nickel in it and you don't really wanna have a soft pure nickel near the edge of, the, uh, of your blade. So what we're gonna do when we got our final stack, we're gonna take it and we're gonna put layers of high carbon steel on top and bottom. 
This is a thing I picked up from Red Five Forge if you want to check him out as well. And this will give us our crazy pattern and we're gonna have a nice high carbon steel on the side for our cutting edge. Cool. All right, now have tea. let's have tea. <laughs> All right, so that's the step number three. So we already restacked it three times, and this is how the pattern looks right now. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna restack it again and frame it in between a couple layers of uh, high carbon seals. So we keep that nickel that we got in this uh, billet far away from the edge. framed our pattern. So you see in here we got just mix of 1095 and 15 and 20, just 10 layers on top, 10, uh, five layers on the bottom and a layer of 226C3. I might have overcomplicated it a little bit, but I think it's gonna look pretty sweet when we actually forge it out into a blade. So we've done all our forging, our stack is framed, and uh, we're actually ready to forge to the knife. And you might be surprised, this is not what's left. We actually got plenty of the stacks left. I would say this is enough for a knife. If you stretch it, you can really use that material to get, get your knife forged out. It might look small right now, but I'm 99% sure that's enough. <laughs> so let's go. So with this, we're just setting up the integral bolster. Just a little bit. And back in the fire. And we got our set down, forged out now. We don't know what to call this Damascus pattern and maybe you can help us. Please suggest a name in the comment section. We always appreciate your likes, so go ahead and hit that like button. If you want to watch the rest of this series, click on this video here. But if you want to watch other UK knife makers, click on this link here. Thank you for watching and we will see you in the next video.